Oh, finally, 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 finally. Some good news has happened in the last couple of weeks. I haven't uploaded a video in like 10 days. It, it really sucks because I, I tried to make one video and it, it just wasn't the way that I wanted it to turn out. And I was like, this video kind of sucks. And this week, there's a lot of good news. Firstly, the Nintendo Switch. <sighs> Whether you're a Nintendo fan, a Microsoft fan, a Sony fan, or just you're a PC master race, some of you are probably excited for the Nintendo Switch. I am. Kind of for hopeless optimism. I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic, but I'm very critical. Now, the Nintendo Switch, if you aren't aware of it, it is the... It, it, it was codenamed Nintendo X, which I guess kind of makes sense because it kind of rhymes, but it, I guess it kind of... Mm, and it doesn't make sense why it was codenamed Nintendo X. But the Nintendo Switch is pretty much like a console, except... Or it's, it's kind of like a portable console. Not a handheld per se, but a portable console. It's not like this, for example. It's not like my Vita, where my Vita... It's pretty much just meant for handheld play. Like, you, you have to take your Vita, or really, the Vita is best played away from this area, from where I live, where I sleep, right? That's, that's kind of the whole point of being portable. The Nintendo Switch can act as a console and act as a handheld at not exactly the same time. But it's it looks like an interesting concept. I'm sorry for the lighting. It's midday. I can't really do anything about it right now, but the Nintendo Switch looks like it, it looks okay. The reason why I say it looks okay first for like my first impressions is because of the actual console size itself. Like just to give you like a rough size comparison, and I'll be referencing my PS Vita a lot. The PS Vita is almost as big as my hand, width-wise going this way, height-wise obviously not. But my PS Vita is is a monster of a handheld console. It's very large. The the Nintendo Switch, it looked like the actual the console itself was bigger than your hands. Like you have to hold it off or you had to hold it in such a way that it was it, it looks almost as large width wise going that way again as an iPad. It's not gonna fit in your pocket, it's gonna fit in your backpack. And the most weird thing about the, the, the Switch is not the actual screen, but the controllers. The controllers are mini-sized. Like, the, I get that they're trying to... I get that they're trying to decrease the actual size of the console by having very small controllers. But again, with the PS Vita, if you look at this thing, and I wish I had my PSP, the actual control nubs right here are super tiny. And the same thing goes with the Nintendo Switch. The, the, the actual control sticks are hella tiny. The buttons are really small. And if you're in one of the trailers, or not one of the trailers, but during the actual trailer, there's the scene where they were playing NBA 2K and they had two guys playing on one Nintendo Switch and they were just like, they were as hunched over as this. Like this is, this is them playing on the Switch. And I was like, that doesn't seem very practical to me. Like if, if the controllers were bigger, that may be that may be like a solution to that problem. But individually speaking, it doesn't really like the individual controllers don't look, really look very good. And on top of that, it's like how would you play 2K on that specific console? Because usually you would need both halves of the of the of the controller, not just one. So it's very interesting that that dual controller system. Whether they pull it off or not, I don't know. It doesn't... It, it may work for some games, like they were playing Mario Kart, but it probably won't work as well as they're advertising it on Nintendo's, or not on Nintendo's, but on NBA 2K. That's just my opinion on the topic. Now, there was this... Re Nintendo released some specs for it. They said that they got a really high-end graphics card from... Nvidia, which means that graphically it won't be as terrible as I thought. Like I thought it was just gonna be, 
I thought that they were going to sacrifice graphics for maneuverability, like for the portable, uh, for it being very portable. That seems to not be the case. And I like that, but, I, but also be aware that it's going to be expensive. And it, it probably will cost over $300. If it costs any, if if it costs less than three hundred dollars, I'm gonna be very suspicious of it just by the price. But Nintendo's gonna make its money. They want to make some money off of it. They wanna, they want, they want to get their money out of it. They're they're probably going to to have it at three hundred dollars or above it. I don't think anywhere lower than that. But. The battery life is one of the main things that concerns me right now because the PS Vita's battery life, again, I'm going to reference it, is like four hours. The PSP's battery life, no matter what generation, no matter if it was the 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, or the off brands or whatever they're called, they were always over eight hours. Obviously, like whenever I play my PS Vita, I always have to have it in and around a charger because the battery life is so low because of the screen and because of the uh, and because of all of the upgrades graphically and to the processors that Sony did to the PS Vita and more specifically it's definitely the screen. I'm really concerned about Nintendo's portable portability of the Nintendo Switch because of the battery life. If the battery isn't very large, if the battery life, excuse me, isn't very large, then that portability of it is going to be gone, right? And another really important thing, recharging it. Because if you haven't, if you saw the trailer, the, the actual console fits in like this, this holder for it. And I'm guessing that's the recharge, or not the recharger, the, uh, the recharge station. If it is then that's a problem because it's not going to be very portable if you can't recharge it with with just like a wire like for your phone or with my ps vita i only need like a wire if i need a whole block to recharge it it's not as portable as they're advertising it to be and if you look close i don't think they've really shown it they've they've shown and we don't really know a lot about the actual console what we do know is that they have they have removable controllers and that it can be very portable. But one thing that's very interesting is that if you've seen the the, the recharge station, there's no wires coming out of it, or the, the deck or the holder of, of the Nintendo Switch, there's really no wires coming out of it. So that means to me that either that the actual console is wireless or something else entirely. But the system looks good, I would say. To an extent, battery life I need to know more about, the graphics I need to know more about, because just because they have all of these high-end graphics card and processors doesn't mean that it can compete with the PlayStation 4 and with the Xbox One, and definitely not the PC when it comes to actually when it comes to the actual performance of the Nintendo Switch. Here is a very significant problem that Nintendo has had for like five or six years, where they can't get triple A games, they can't get Call of Duty, they can't get Assassin's Creed, they can't get any of these games, because their console's performance is not even close to the competition. Like, they go for a uni uh, uniqueness, they try and go for, for rarity in their console, and they sacrifice performance, they sacrifice actual, like, like performance of their consoles for just being different. And that's a problem because the Wii was different and its performance sucked. The Wii U, like, like they've, they've been pretty much on the same graphics. They've, they've, uh, they've upgraded them a little bit over the years for the Wii U. But really, the graphics are so far behind of the PS4 and the Xbox One and definitely the PC. And that's a huge problem that Nintendo is facing. Like, if they can't get AAA games, like, that's how you get people to come into your game and to constantly play your game. Exclusives, bring them in. AAA games, keep them playing, right? If they don't have the AAA games, people will stop playing your console. And that's a huge problem that, that Nintendo really, really needs to face. But I don't mean to sound like I'm, I'm disappointed 
with the Nintendo Switch. I do like the actual design of it. Like, again, hopelessly optimistic version of myself talking. I do like the look of it. I do like how Nintendo isn't really trying for some of their games. For instance, like Zelda, they aren't really trying to make their game look as good as The Last of Us or God of War 3, for that matter. They're just trying to, to make it look like a Nintendo game. And I do like that. I'm trying to think of something that I really, really am worried about with the Nintendo Switch. And I, I can't really think of something besides what I just said. Like, their, 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 uh, their memory cards, mm, how are they going to do that? Like, I was thinking, the reason why I was saying, like, their memory cards is because I was thinking, again, like the PS Vita, I was thinking that their memory or the way that they would have memory wasn't on a hard drive it would be on a memory card but if that's the case then games like 2k are going to take up a lot of memory because that game they they have so much detail in some of those character and some of those players like on lebron james and on Mela, like they have the, like the exact tattoos in the exact place but with steph curry he looks like an anorexic child but those games they have very detailed uh areas and then like with the players and with the audience how is nintendo going to have the how are they going to be able to have games like that on their console without sacrificing mem without sacrificing memory because what they're going to do what they either have to do if it's not as high performing as the ps4 and the xbox one which it probably will not be they'll have to lower the graphics on it and it will be noticeable so that way you can so that way the games, they don't take up as much memory. And if that's the case, then really the graphics probably won't be anything to write home about. This has been 24. I'll be talking about two other things. The Logan trailer and Red Dead Redemption 2. That, that specific video, the Red Dead Redemption 2 video, will have a small little rant in it about GTA 5 and how I think GTA 5 will have some correlations and have some effects that will transpire and transfer over into Red Dead Redemption 2. Until then, this has been 24. Remember to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.